All right, guys, I have two for you today. Um, one is going to be a setting that we're going to change here in a second, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to explain. So um, over on the right side here, I've created my own design library with notes. And I can go ahead and pin that here. So I've got a standard note. Well, I've got a couple different notes. So one, you can make this intelligent where I can just drag and drop like a scale one and have a link to a property. So it's pulling a property from the view in this case, or it could be the model whatever you want to do. And just so you can show, see it's intelligent. If I drop it over on this other one, you can see that one's one to four. This is one to eight. Um, what I want to do in this case though, is instead of using them as just like individual drops, that, which does save a lot of time, I could grab like a standard note here. Say for my standard note, um, I then also have a bunch of other ones that I want to be able to add to that standard note. Um, there's a setting though that I need to change first. If I just drag and drop deburr here, it doesn't really do anything except for make a mess. So if I go to my settings at the top here and then go to drawings, uh, the default here is there's a, an option to disable note merging and dragging. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And what that'll allow me to do now is grab this um, library feature that I've created and drag and drop it. You can see when it's highlighted here, if I drop it, it will merge with that previous note and become one item. So if I want to grab the next one, drop it, you can do that with as many notes as you want and save yourself a bunch of time. So hopefully that helps you guys. Have a great day.